Uh, people, um, I'd advise you to have a go at this first, so pause the uh, the video, and then uh, play in a few minutes to see if you uh, agree with my solutions. Um, I think I'll start by, gosh, it's a hard question, I think I'll start by finding the area first. So here we go. Um, I can see that I've got a triangle and a semicircle. Okay, so um, the area of the triangle, this bit here, let's get that area there first. Okay, so that area, the area of triangle is um, equal to, sorry, but it's, it's equal to, uh, it's a half times the base times the height, so it's going to be uh, a half, a half times four times six, which is going to give me, ah, that's 12 centimeters squared. Okay. Um, right, let's get a different color. I'm now going to find the area of this semicircle. So, area of the semi-circle. Well, there's a formula that you have to know. You have to take it into the exam. Um, and it goes like this. The area of a circle, a full circle, is pi r squared. But r is the radius. Okay. So, here, if you've got to imagine, I'm going to get rid of this line in a sec. I'm going to find the area of like this full circle. Okay, It's a circle that does... It's a bit dodgy, but there we go. I think you get the idea. I'm going to try and find that whole area. To do that, that's pi times 3 squared. Okay. Why, why is r 3? Well, you've got to think, well, the diameter is 6. If you half that, you get 3. So the area of the full circle is um, pi times 3 squared. So that's going to be uh, pi times 3 squared. We'll... Uh, we get 28.2, dot, 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 okay. Uh, okay, that gives us the area of the full circle. We need to half that. So if we divide by 2, we get 14.137, etc. Now, that's what we want, okay. So let me just minimise that. So the area of the semicircle coming down here, if I've forgotten it already, I have to put my calculator back up, is equal to... It was uh, 14.137, 14, 14.137, okay? So now the area of that compound shape is the area of the triangle, which, which we used at half times the base times the height, plus the area of the semicircle, adding those two numbers together. So therefore, area is equal to, let's uh, get my calculator back up, so it's that number plus 12, you might have done this in your head, so therefore, let's let's go to one decimal place. Um, I haven't suffered any accuracy marks because I've kept the full answers in my calculator. So it's 26.1, 26.1 centimeters squared. Big go. Okay. Now, um, let's find the perimeter of this compound shape. The area is the first job. We've got that. Okay. So the perimeter. Um, hmm. Okay. Got some work to do. Let me get my highlighter pen out. We need to know this length here. Okay, so we're going to start by finding that. I'll give it a nice, what should I call it? So I'll call it question mark. Let's call it, let's find that length there. Now, I've noticed there's a right angle triangle at play here. So um, what I'm going to do is square four, so I get 16. I'm going to square six, which gives me 36. Add those two numbers together and then square root. Okay, so I reckon that length question mark, let me get my calculator out. I'm going to try and do it in one go. Um, is going to be the square root of, I'm going to try and do it in my head as well, 36 plus 16, that's 52. So if I do the square root of 52, this is just Pythagoras' theorem, um, that's 7.211. Uh, so this length here is 7.211. Okay. Wonderful. Now, so the perimeter is going to be that length here, which I've highlighted, plus 4. Plus, this distance around here, this is a really complicated problem, folks. This will be as hard as it will ever get for you. Um, so what I need to do is work out half the circumference of a circle. Okay, So let me uh, scroll down the board a bit. Now I know, and I hope you know, that the formula, so uh, the formula for the circumference of a circle is given by pi times the diameter. Okay. So here, if I use that formula, so here if I do pi times 6, I'm going to get 
the distance, watch, watch the black line, I'm going to get this distance all the way around here. Okay. But I only want half of it, I only want the bit here. So what I'm going to do to this number is divide it by 2. So therefore, the circumference bit, I should, uh, I've got to be careful here, my, uh, they're not, so that's, that, that'll give me the full circumference. I take that number, so let's, let's get it, uh, pi times 6, and then what I need to do to find that semicircle, I must divide it by 2, okay, so I get 9.42, 9.42, this distance from here round to here is 9.42 centimetres, so therefore the perimeter is going to be this number plus this number plus this number here, so let's add them together. So, right, I've already got that on my calculator, I'll make use of that, plus 7.211 plus 4. And that is job done. The perimeter, so therefore, the perimeter is 20, let's go to one decimal place, 20, 20.6 centimetres. <coughs> that was a hard question, folks. Hopefully, you've uh, got to grips with it.